Paul, a 35-year-old man who lives in North Carolina, has recently been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Paul has always had a feeling that something was not well with him, but he downplayed the minor symptoms that he had been noticing, and thought that it was just as a result of stress from work. I'll be showing you shortly in this video the symptoms, the causes, and what you can do to prevent diabetes, so you won't be like Paul. Diabetes is the name used to describe a metabolic condition, of having higher than normal blood sugar levels and is usually caused by the pancreas not producing enough insulin, or when the body cannot effectively use the insulin it produces. Insulin is a hormone that regulates blood sugar, so when enough of it is not produced or when the body cannot utilize it, hyperglycemia also known as high blood sugar results, and over time it can lead to serious damage to many parts of the body. There are two types of diabetes, diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus. Diabetes mellitus is of three types, and of the three types, type 1 and 2 are the most common. In type 1, there is no insulin present at all. In type 2, the body does not respond to the insulin produced, or insulin formation is reduced. The third one is gestational diabetes. The gestational diabetes develops in pregnant women who have never had diabetes. How then can you determine if you have diabetes mellitus, or diabetes in short? The early signs of the condition typically appear when blood glucose levels are higher than normal. Both type 1 and type 2 diabetes share some of the same warning signs. However, in the case of type 2 diabetes, these warning signs may be mild and may even go unnoticed, whereas in the case of type 1 diabetes, the symptoms typically appear early and are significantly more severe than those of type 2. These early indications of diabetes include. The first is hunger and exhaustion. The food we eat is converted into glucose, which is then used by our cells for energy. However, our cells need insulin to take in glucose, and if the body doesn't produce any insulin or if the cells are resistant to insulin, then this glucose can't get into them and subsequently you have no energy. You may become even more hungry as a result of this. The second indicator is increased thirst and urination. A diabetic may urinate far more frequently than the ordinary person. Normally, once glucose passes through the kidneys, your body absorbs it again, but this doesn't always happen in the case of diabetes. In people with elevated glucose level, the kidneys might not be able to filter it all back in, which causes the body to produce more urine and use up more fluid in the process. As a result, you may feel extremely thirsty and drink more water, which will cause you to urinate more frequently. The third is dry mouth and itchy skin. Because the body is using so much water to produce pee, there is less moisture available for other things, which can lead to dehydration, dry mouth, and itchy skin. The fourth is blurry vision. As the body's fluid levels changes, the eye's lens may swell, change shape, and not be able to focus properly, which causes blurred vision. Now that you know the early indications or signs of diabetes, let's talk about the symptoms. The symptoms appear after the glucose level is high for a long time. The symptoms include yeast or fungal infection. Fungi can grow in any warm, moist skin, creases, including those between your fingers and toes, under your breasts, in or around genital organs of people who have diabetes. The fungi can affect both men and women who have this condition. Second, slow healing of wounds or cuts. High blood sugar levels can eventually disrupt blood flow and may even result in nerve damage, which makes it difficult for your body to heal. The pain and numbness is also a result of nerve damage, caused by high blood glucose. Next is unplanned weight loss. This occurs when the body starts burning muscle and fat in order to obtain the energy it needs from food, as the body is unable to obtain the energy it needs from the food you are eating. Next is nausea and vomiting. The body produces ketones when it consumes fat. These ketone can build up in the blood to a dangerous level and can make you feel sick. Therefore, the feeling of nausea and vomiting is caused by the body producing too many ketones. Other symptoms also include velvety dark skin changes of the neck, armpit and growing area which is called acanthosis nigricans, and impotence or erectile dysfunction. Knowing the symptoms of diabetes is not enough, it is as important to know the preventative measures to take so that the symptoms would not appear in the first place. Changing your lifestyle could be a big step toward diabetes prevention and it's never too late to start. These lifestyle changes includes 1. 
Lose extra weight if you are overweight. Losing weight reduces the risk of diabetes. Set a weight loss goal based on your current body weight. 2. Be more physically active. There are many benefits to regular physical activity. Exercise can help you lower your blood sugar, lose weight and boost your sensitivity to insulin, which helps keep your blood sugar within a normal range. 3. Eat healthy plant foods. Avoid foods that are bad carbohydrates, high in sugar with little fiber or nutrients like white bread and pastries, pasta and so on, and eat a variety of healthy, fiber-rich foods. 4. Eat healthy fats. Fatty foods are high in calories and should be eaten in moderation. To help lose and manage weight, your diet should include a variety of foods with unsaturated fats, sometimes called good fats. Lastly, skip fad diets and make healthier choices. Many fad diets, such as the glycemic index, paleo or keto diets, may help you lose weight but there is little research, however, about the long-term benefits of these diets or their benefit in preventing diabetes. Hope you've liked this video so far and if you did like this video, do like, comment and share this video. Thank you.